Some people say if we keep using AI to facilitate processes, make them more efficient and faster, we could probably triple GDP in 20 years. Think about that. If we can have the rising tide float all boats, 90% of the world, think about that difference that will make in developing countries. And what we have to realize is that we don't just have artificial intelligence when we talk about the good future. We have six different things happening. The next 10 years will bring more change than the previous 100 years. Artificial intelligence, quantum computing, nuclear fusion, genetic engineering, synthetic biology, geoengineering. And whoever is in charge of just one of those could potentially run the world. I and mean, this is why we have this kind of arms race about AI and computing. So we have to collaborate. The biggest thing today, of course, is machines that can think. Machines are binary. They calculate. They make us believe like they're thinking. And that is actually very useful because it's a certain kind of binary thinking. But humans are not binary. If I meet you later and we have a conversation, it takes an average of 0.4 seconds to have one human gauge the other human. 0.4 seconds without saying a single word. Computers don't do that because they don't smell you. They don't get the vibe. None of that happens with computers. Computers look at data, explicit data. Logic alone, data alone will not suffice.